Brother Musician here, what's going on everybody? Um, on today, I want to talk briefly, just, just a little bit, uh, a little demonstration, I guess. Uh, I get questions sometimes, like, what's your process? What what are you thinking? How how did you get to that chord? Or why did you choose that chord? You know, what what's your what's going on in your on in your mind when you're playing? Uh so I want to give you a little insight into uh how I choose what I choose and just kind of what I'm thinking. Um and this will be short. I'm not gonna go real long, I'm not gonna play through a whole song, but just to give you a little insight. Um so let's see where we go with this thing. Um, first thing, first thing. For me, melody is everything. The melody is it's 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 everything. Once you know the melody to a song, the possibilities are endless. I mean, you you could go so many different places, chord wise, and all that kind of stuff. Especially if you're playing for a soloist. Because it's just one person. If you got the melody, you know, you can do all kind of different alternate chords. Um, I will say, like I've been in church, it'll be a choir singing or, you know, a group. And the musician will be playing chords. but And you'll see the other musicians like, oh, oh, that's, oh, oh, that's sweet. Oh, that's some little crazy chords. But sometimes I cringe because I, it just, oh, I, I cringe when I hear chords that, that, um, don't match with the harmonies that are being sung. You know what I'm saying? So if, let's say, uh, or let's say even for a soloist. So let's say um, if it's a fall on your knees, okay? But then the musician goes, fall on your knees. You know, uh-uh. That's nowhere in that chord. You, and then some people like, some, Oh, he, he, oh, he going, okay, okay. No, uh -uh, that's not even in the chord. <laughs> so that, that, that's just a personal thing for me. So for me, melody is everything. So the way I choose my harmonies, the way I choose my chords, is always based off the melody. So it's important that when you're playing for somebody that you know the melody because that will determine, uh, you know, how much you veer out, okay? So melody is key. Never forsake the melody. I I, I know that. I, I think I read that in the Bible somewhere. Uh, never forsake the melody. I think that's Leviticus uh, or Judges, one of them. Um, number two, like I said, we got melody. Number two, I'm always thinking of where I'm trying to land. Um, because, you know, when you play a song, you're on a trip. And you can take all kind of different ways and roads to get there. But I'm always thinking of where I'm trying to land, where I'm going, and that'll determine which road I take. So, for instance, um, let's say fall on your knees again. Uh, I don't know what key I'm in. Fall on your knees. All right, so the melody is... Okay. So I'm thinking in my head... Okay, so I'm going to a C sharp minor chord. Okay, you know what? Let, let me take me. Let me take a little different road. You see, you see that? And all I'm doing is a seven. Okay, I'm, I'm, I want to get. Okay, you know what? Let me, let me, let me, okay, so I'm going to a C sharp minor. But let me put a little extra in there. Fall on your knees. Ooh, okay, okay. You see that? All I did was fall. And all I did was take this seventh chord and I inverted it. Fall on your knees. And if I didn't want to do the uh, the seven, I can always I can do diminish as well. Well, I like that. And it still gets me to that C sharp minor. I'm always thinking of where I'm trying to land because that'll determine what I choose in between that. Um, and then if I really want to kind of twist it up a little bit, instead of, I know I want to get to this um, C sharp minor. Fall 
Okay, well let me change let me change the left hand. Let me change the bass note. Fall, fall. Okay, that doesn't sound too good to me. Fall. That can work. I kind of like that. Fall. Mmm. I like I like that one. Fall. I like that one too. Like a D major seven. Okay, so all kind of different options. So let, so um normally it's fall on your knees. Now if I change the bass note. All, all, all kind of different flavors, but I'm getting there because I know where I'm trying to go. It's all about where I'm trying to land. So when I'm playing, I'm always thinking ahead. And whatever road I take, it may be like, whoa, where's he going with that? But it ain't really that deep for me because I, I, I know where I'm trying to go. I, I, you see what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to get here. I'm going to C sharp minor seven. Okay, um, so or so all kind of different ways. Even if you did the beginning, um, we're in A. I love this song, by the way. So we have the melody. So now, now I can play with it because I know the melody. Um, but let me see here. And let me also add, and I think I've said this before in another video, um, how much I do as far as alternate chords and all that kind of stuff, it kind of depends on the singer, the soloist. And, you know, if we have a relationship where I kind of know that they... Cause sometimes it, when if you if you're going out there and you're doing all these alternate chords, it could throw it could throw the singer off, or you could be in a situation where the singer is trying to do, improvise and do some different chords. So now here you are, you trying to do something different because you're expecting the singer to do the melody, but now they're doing something different. So now you got you guys are clashing again. So you know you got to be careful. Just I always when I'm playing for somebody, I kind of start simple. And I just kind of hear, I'm like, okay, see where they're going, see how they're going to flow. Da, 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 All right, um, and then you can kind of gauge and see how they how they flow, and you want to pull up about the Savior's burn. You know, and then if they look at you like, okay, then you're like, okay, then, okay, I, I got a little more liberty, I can do a little more. But don't come out the gate putting all these fancy chords in there because sometimes it could throw a singer off. Like I know when I'm singing, I don't I don't always like I, I don't always like a lot of alternate chords. And you could ask them too, you know, ask them, um, hey, you mind if I kind of you know, put a little flavor in there? Because some some people prefer the songs to be done straight, and that's fine. So, uh, but back 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 to some little. What I'm thinking, what's going on in this in this brain? Um, so listen. Okay, so we got that. So let me see what we can do. Uh, mm, you can do that, or you can do. Ah, you can do that. That's still just a seventh chord, just in uh, the seventh is in the left hand. Okay. So you go, doo, 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 or, doo, 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 doo. so we're back to that C sharp minor. So I can do the same thing. 
And all of that is, is, and then you hear people talk about it all the time. If you can learn the circle of fifths and learn the fifth of each scale, I mean, after a while, you, you'll be so sweet with passing chords, all just... And all it is, it's, it's just a fifth. It's just a circle of fifths. And after a while, if it went when in doubt, when you look at, I just want to add some flavor, just go to the fifth. Uh, just use the fifth of where you're trying to go. So, uh, da, da. we're trying to go to C sharp minor. This is the fifth of C sharp minor. Uh, da, da, da. Now you can kind of, you know, sniff it up. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. sort of stuff but yeah and this was way this was not brief uh but yeah i just wanted to kind of give you a little insight always always that melody the melody is everything and then um as far as passing chords and just always have in mind where you're trying to go where you're trying to land and that 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 that's that's everything um Okay, I want to go to all night. I can go voices. I can go all night. I can go to A or I can go all night. I can do that. All night. They're all kind of different things, but all of that stuff, if you look at the, the basic when you break all that all, I mean, I, I, I'm stumbling all over my words. When you break it down, it, it it's a lot of just fits. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, just learn that stuff. You're like, man, this is so easy. I I thought Kevin knew how to play. He he ain't doing nothing but circle of fits. He can't play. <laughs>